Hey traders, Nick here. Today is Wednesday, uh, two weeks after the Fed event. Uh, we had an incredible run in the market. Uh, they rallied in two weeks straight. Uh, one red tick and today is the second red tick since the Fed event, which is an incredible feat. So today I had a couple of people say, are we buying these dips, literally? And I'm like, what, what dips are you talking about? <laughs> one red tick does not constitute a dip. And that's why I'm starting this video with a, um, a daily chart. This is the S&P via the SPY, the ETF that tracks the S&P index. Uh, it's a daily chart, so it's nothing fancy. There are no tools, no drawings. Uh, just showing you yesterday was an incredible day, and today is just a, just a small red day, minus 0.56 or whatever, 0.5%, not a big deal. All right, so the point of this video is to kind of give us a check mark that, hey, we haven't even started to dip. Okay, so don't call these dips. We rallied 12%. We are okay to lose 4% of those. So if we drop to 444, it should be okay. Don't be upset of me saying that. If we drop to here or 438, that's normal price action. Why? If we allow that to happen, and if the market is indeed okay with what's going on, they will find footing, come back to here. When they take this out the second time around, they will make new highs, I promise. You just need a little bit of, hey, let's take a breather, gather more momentum and push through and bust. Because this line and that line are going to be difficult. You need all the strength you can. Like if you're going to kick the door down, you don't kick it from, from in front of the door. You back up to come at it with some momentum. Same concept. Drop a little bit. Build a better base than this junk. This is junk. That is not right. Okay. So you need to take a breather, come back and punch through. All right. So let's on to the fun stuff. So today was an incredible day in the room. What room? Okay, so as you know, I do write-ups before the market opens, while the market is open for most people. I also have a chat room going for everybody where you can just pop in and say, hey, question this, question on that. It's a chat. And then I added a new layer recently. I didn't take away anything else. I just take, took out more of my time. I added a live room where I'm actually sharing these very windows you're looking at. These windows are live. I have several tabs, and um, this is the S&P here, QQQ, IWM, SPX, FEAR, RUT. They're all here, back into one of those. So the live room is between 210 and 270 people. Today we had about 240 at our height peak, and somewhere around 220 most of the day. So why am I mentioning this? Because we nailed a few trades today, but I think they will serve as a good fun lesson as to how markets work. Um, machines control the action, which makes the action predictable on a short-term basis. So you know me, every trade I share, like today's Chewy trade that I shared via video and write-up, is fundamentally based. My argument was, hey, this one is falling on earnings. I think I can catch a falling knife while leaving room for error. So I started with a fundamental thesis and then I applied some technicals to it here are the stuff I would do with it that was kind of the thought right so intraday like for trades inside the day there is no fundamentals it's all about charts and it's heck of fun it's unbelievably fun so let's drill down you can't do it with daily candles you don't see anything I'm gonna drill down with 30 minute candles so now I see today and yesterday and the day before and the day before I go to 15 minute candles now this today more candles so I'm doubling the number of candles that I'm going to look at right and five minutes all right so let's put a, a stop here the day started here it was okay push pull push pull and then whoop and then whoop whoop who saw this coming we did all along one hour into the day I promise I had witnesses one hour into the day I charted everything and it unfolded almost to the T to a T to where it allowed people to trade it. Now I couldn't do it because I'm organizing. I was able to catch this because it developed over like in slow-mo, but we saw it coming and we guessed it was gonna come. We took a lottery ticket and boom, did it pay. And I'll get there. But first, an hour in, and here's what happened. I'm gonna put my drawings. Mind you, everything you're gonna see now was hand drawn one minute at a time, like as the day unfolded. I started with a blank sheet almost every day. All these lines I did myself. 
Okay, so based on information and eyeballs and um, acumen as far as reading charts. Okay, here we go. This is the day. This was the morning. We had a bounce. We had another bounce. So I said right here, you know what? An hour into the trade, watch out for this red arrow. I promise you there was no action here. All this after the fact. I said, watch out for this. They're going to bounce. I drew a box. I said, there's going to find resistance somewhere in this box. And if that's the case, they're going to come back down and test this a third time. And if that fails, whoop, they're going to get to here. Well, guess what? It did fail and they got to here. They overshot. But here's the other nuance. Somewhere on here, I said, uh-oh, they're, they're drawing another one. So I drew this white line. I said, if you lose this white line, you're going to most definitely trigger this one. So, and guess what? They did, and that helped. But here's the point of this white line. Look right. Look how accurate that was. So that's me drawing the line. Hours later, machines seeing the same line, not on my screen, but I'm looking at the right lines, and I, the whole room benefits from it. So 260 people knew not to buy calls here, knew to maybe short markets here twice. This is... I drew this hours before this happened. So we're looking at the right levels. So if we're doing this, our opponent, the person that is trading against us, because every time you buy and sell something, there is a person on the other end or a machine on the other end that thinks you're an idiot. You think they're an idiot. So there are two sides to every trade. So we have the advantage because we know what levels, well, at least we're going to make fewer mistakes because we're prepared knowing levels. That's not the exciting part of the day. This was the like early part of the day. Late in the day, I said, you know what? This white one triggered the red one. But guess what? If this red one comes to fruition, this yellow one is going to trigger. And that one I had drawn before the market even opened. And this was the downside. This, this was the downside target of my yellow one. Everybody said, no way we can get there. I said, yeah, way we can get there. We can get the four. 456.50. I promise you these were my words in the chat room. When the market was still up here, I said the fact that they the red one triggered the yellow one, the machines will hunt it. And guess what? Look at what happened at the end of the day. They went to 456.48. So they went to 456.50. So Right here somewhere, I don't remember exactly where, I sent out a note and I said, I'm buying puts, which means shorting the market very, very responsibly. I can do two things. I can buy a 457 put for 22 cents expiring today, which expired, or the, 12, uh, the 9 cent 456 put. If you did either of those two, you had a massive win on your hands. And of course, this is just for people in the room because it's too fast to send out an email and by the time you read it or whatever, this is just for intraday fun. And it was extremely profitable for somebody that was there. Not saying this to say nana na nana, not everybody can be there, I understand. But I'm saying it as a lesson that armed with technical analysis, if you're trading without technical analysis, I think you're leaving a huge asset untouched and if you don't know the technical analysis, I urge you to come to me with questions. How? Everybody watching this video most likely has access to me in a chat room, if you're a member. And you just pop in and say, Nick, I don't understand what to do with this chart. Can you help me out? I'll pull up the chart and see if I can help you with the levels that matter. Or you say, I'm stuck in a trade. What can I do? Just pop into the chat room and see if you can reach me. So this is a fun... Well, this was a fun afternoon. You should see, we were like screaming and hollering and high-fiving because we saw it coming in slow-mo. And in fact, we, were, we had eyeballs everywhere and the SPX is what helped us. So whenever it gets noisy in the SPY, the SPX is a little bit calmer. Everybody knows it. That's still the S&P, but that's the index. So I looked at this and I said, if we lose this, that was early. So that was 10.20 uh, my time. So we still, we closed the market at one o'clock my time. So this was like the middle of the day, really. I said, if we lose this, this will happen. And then I looked left, look at where I drew this. And then I looked left, this will close the gap. And then I said, that's perfect. This also confirms my 456 on the SPY. 
I was very confident with that breakdown then by then so I shared it and then I said I'm out and I got out here and then it did this after I got out so I didn't nail the exact bottom but it was a lot of fun writing it all the way down so if you have time you want to join this group you have access to it all you have to do is just the link is in the morning note join it and uh, you don't have to say anything you, you'll be lost among 230 people if you want to talk you can not talk if you want to contribute in the chat um, I'm the only one that talks and coordinate everybody you see my screens uh, it's a lot of fun so it sounds like a commercial to be in there if you can't make it in there that's fine I understand anyway hopefully this was helpful